The Tech of Giving Back, an interview with Salesforce's Chief Philanthropy Officer. Scott Bade Contributor. Share on Twitter. Scott Bade is a former speechwriter for Mike Bloomberg and co-author of More Human, Designing a World Where People Come First. More posts by this contributor. Omid Yar Network CEO opens up about VC-influenced philanthropy How the Valley can get philanthropy right with former Hewlett Foundation President Paul Brest. Since its founding two decades ago, Salesforce has pioneered the Pledge 1% model of giving back 1% of equity, product, profit, and employee time to charity. As EVP, Marketing and Chief Philanthropy Officer for Salesforce, Ebony Beckwith is in charge of identifying those service opportunities for more than 40,000 employees while also managing the Salesforce Foundation, which administers millions of dollars in community grants and programs supporting efforts that include workforce education, disaster relief and K-12 education. Extra Crunch recently interviewed Beckwith about Salesforce's ongoing efforts to create a culture that gives back and how Salesforce's use of both a foundation and a fully integrated business unit dedicated to non-profits sets it apart from other corporate philanthropy efforts. This interview has been edited for length and clarity. Photo, courtesy Salesforce. Creating a culture of giving back. Extra Crunch, I want to start with what Salesforce is perhaps best known for, the 1% model. So can you talk about what it means and how it's evolved over the years? Ebony Beckwith, so literally the 1% model stands for 1, 1, 1, 1% of time, 1% of equity, and 1% of our products. Mark came up with this model based on the work he was doing at his previous company and how he really wanted to marry kind of philanthropy and doing good. He'll say, doing well and doing good go hand in hand. You can do both. That's why. When Mark and the founders started this company 20 years ago, they built giving back into our DNA as a core value. They were betting on the success of our company before we had anything. You know 1% of employee time when you only have 7 employees and not that much. But now we have over 40,000 employees, so 1% of their time is a lot. How has that model changed over the years? Obviously, it's become more formalized. My team and I are responsible for engaging our 40,000 employees to give back in the community in ways that are meaningful for them where they live and work. It's part of the corporate culture. People know that, when, they come here, it's part of the job expectation. They're, given seven paid days off to volunteer. But our team is so small and we can't get to every single employee. So we have a lot of programs and incentives. For more on this story, visit the news article link.